A recent study from China published in the New England Journal of Medicine suggests that smokers are overrepresented in the subgroup of patients who develop a severe COVID-19 disease. These are patients who require admission to the intensive care unit, may require mechanical ventilation or even death. But we have to recognize and appreciate that this was an observational study. Uh, in essence, it is retrospective in nature. What this means is the medical researchers are not able to control uh, possible confounding risk factors. So for example, in the subgroup of patients who developed a more severe COVID illness, whilst there were more smokers, some of these patients may also have had a higher incidence of diabetes or hypertension. So it can be quite challenging how to tease out which is the most significant risk factor. Having said that, uh, the preliminary analysis suggests that smokers probably do have an increased risk of uh, dying from a COVID illness. Well, the coronavirus which causes the COVID-19 illness is uh, a virus that seems to predominantly target our respiratory system. Uh, in the case of the coronavirus, uh, scientists have established that the mechanism of entry into the human cell, the host cell, is through the angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE2 receptor. Now these receptors are located predominantly in the lining of our airways, what we call as the respiratory epithelium, or in certain cells within our lung tissue, the type 2 alveolar pneumocytes. These ACE2 receptors can also be found in the gut or intestine, as well as in our kidneys. Um, there is also evidence that smoking causes an increased expression and an upregulation in these ACE2 receptors. So we can therefore make a logical assumption that for smokers, there is not only an increased expression of these ACE2 receptors, which will give more opportunity for the coronavirus to invade uh, into the human cells, but once they develop a COVID positive illness, they are also at greater risk of a more severe illness. So this is a very interesting question because for a considerable time we've all been told and made to understand that the coronavirus transmission is largely through, uh, through aerialization. Uh, in other words, uh, someone who is coughing quite violently or from sneezing. Uh, however, there is now emerging evidence, a recent study from Hong Kong, which suggests that there can also be airborne transmission. Hence the importance of wearing a mask. Even if you're not symptomatic, it is reasonable to wear a mask for instance, when you leave your home to go out to uh, a public place. Specifically with smokers, uh, it seems that they may have a risk, or smoking may have an, a risk of uh, increasing the spread of coronavirus on, on certain assumptions. Firstly, if we look at the habit of smoking, uh, it is a, uh, there's a repetitive frequent hand-to-mouth movements. So invariably smokers are more likely to touch their face. Also, in terms of airborne transmission, when a smoker exhales and blows out the smoke, if that smoker were to be COVID positive, theoretically, uh, there can be a lot of viral uh, aerialization and therefore airborne spread of the virus. Well, this ongoing COVID-19 pandemic is something that has dramatically impacted all our lives. And I think it's quite an unprecedented time in terms of stress and anxiety as a consequence of the movement control order, which is much needed. There have been restrictions. Many people have to work from home. Schooling has been disrupted. And uh, in fact, many have lost their livelihoods. So I think we all recognize it is a very stressful and anxious time. Having said that, it is also an opportunity to do things differently or better. It is a wonderful opportunity to uh, use this time to perhaps uh, diligently try to kick the habit. Uh, for those who are not able to stop smoking, perhaps thoughtful consideration to smoke away from uh, loved ones and family members so that you reduce that risk of uh, aerialization and airborne transmission. This is obviously for smokers who are COVID positive.